Hi, it's Kay of Kay's Creative Home. Welcome back to my channel. So today I like to make a fall wreath and I like to take you along this journey with me. We'll be using this grapevine wreath form and then I have some other supplies to the side which I'll share with you. So the first thing I want to do is clip off anything on the back of this wreath that would scratch a door and then I'm going to pound it a little bit, get some of the little fillers out that get stuck into these grapevines and then we'll be ready to add some decor. All right, let's get started. So the first thing I want to add to my wreath are these leaves. And this is a bunch of leaves I got from a local distributor. Um, and then you can see the colors. They've got a bl nice blend of the yellow and greens and orange and that reddish color orange. And then the next thing I have are these stems from Dollar Tree. And they are called wheat. Um, they come in three different colors, this dark brown, um, a cream, and a cream that has little brown tips on it. And so I'm going to cut those stems and get those ready to go into my wreath. And then the next thing I have are these large branches from Hobby Lobby, which I got at a end of season sale. I'm not even sure how long I've had them. Um, so they may have them this year or not. So um, I'm going to cut off two of these stems. I won't need a whole lot of this. And then I'm going to show you how I split each stem into two pieces. So the first thing I like to do is move some of the um, leaves down um, where they're attached. You can actually slide them up and down your stem. So I'm sliding some down and I'm going to end up sliding some up so that I'll have a space in between where I can cut them. And so I'll also have a, st a stem in the middle where um, I can actually attach that top part to my reef form. So here's a close up of the nodules you can see there what they look like and you just slide them along your branch and then you can um, have space in between the cut and like I said create while I slide some up I'll have a stem that I can use to insert this into my reef so I'm gonna make a little cut there and you see how I have that little stem left over because I've slid them up and down and now the piece where I cut at the bottom is kind of like not protected it's a open piece of wire there now. So I'm going to put a ball of glue there on the top of that. That will keep the bottom leaves from falling off and then it will also create a little bubble over that piece of wire so no one can cut themselves. So I'm going to do that again with another branch and then I'll be ready to show you the next item that I'll be adding to the wreath. So the next thing I want to use on my wreath is this um, bush of leaves. I don't even know what to call it. I got this at um, at home at the end of one of their season sales and I just love this deep spicy orange color. This, I call it like a pumpkin spice and it's got this um, brownish, ver I guess you call it a variegation or brown um, lines or something in the center here. So I'm going to cut some stems of this and I'm going to get this ready for the wreath and let's see what else we're going to add. So next I have another bush from at home and um, it has a, a lighter color, still a pumpkin color, but a lighter color orange leaf on it. And I have no idea what this um, bush would be called or plant would be called. Um, at home does not put names on theirs but um, I know the shape of the leaves are kind of like a eucalyptus shape. Again, love the color, I love the shape. It's really different from, you know, the normal green leaves. So I fell in love with the shape. So the next thing I want to do is um, kind of evaluate this grapevine reef. It was not a perfect circle, so I was just pressing on a little bit, see if I can make it more circular, trying to decide what would be the up and down. So where I'm pointing to that side there, it's kind of got a little point out that way. So I've decided that would be a good place to um, put the bow and then have the florals coming out from that area. Um, and that way it'll be on the side. It'll kind of be hidden. And then I can see now that it's laid down, you can kind of see where that point is. So with the bow there, it'll kind of be hidden and um, it won't mess up my circular shape. So the first thing I want to do is start adding in these um, this 
bush I have in my hand and remember I cut two stems in half so I have four of those I'm gonna put two at the top and two at the bottom and I'm just gonna attach add a little glue to the stem and put it right into this reform remember when you're doing this <clears throat> kind of think of where you want to put it see I was kind of sliding in, in that space first then I add the glue and slide it in um, but also remember don't lay it down flat and slide it in. kind of put it in at an angle so that your leaves will kind of lift up from the frame and it'll add more dimension and um, life to your reef instead of looking at something flat the 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 blooms or the leaves that you put on your reef will just come out and they'll look like they're blossoming up all right so i'm going to add these in and then move to the next step So the next thing I decided to add were the uh, wheat stems from Dollar Tree. And if you ask how I decided what things I would put in first, I thought of the orange shaped leaves as my um, prominent feature. That's what I want it to be out in front. And everything else is just going to come in as filler in the background. But I want to put it in so that nothing is hidden. I want everything to be seen in the end. So um, the fuller things are going to go toward the back. That way they'll still be seen in the front. They'll be peeking through the other items. So you can see I've added two. I think I add three to each side of the um, wheats to the top. And then I'm going to add some to the other side there on the bottom. And then we'll be ready for the next step. So the next thing I would like to do is begin adding some more of these colorful leaves. These are the deeper ones that deep dump what I call the deep pumpkin spice with a little bit of brown um, colorations merged into the center of the leaves. So I'm adding them next. These deep colors again will give you a nice strong background. And I think I have two or three I'm going to place on each side. And remember as you're placing the leaves don't forget to not lay them flat you don't want them horizontal with your reform you want them sticking up a little bit and that way once your reef is on the door it will stand out and come towards you and it'll make it look a lot fuller a lot fluffier it'll bring some life give you giving it um lots of dimension okay let me get these added in and then we'll be on to the next step So here I want to begin adding my leaves and I kind of just play around with it, placing it where I think I want it to go. And my leaves are going to be a great filler for this wreath because you notice so far like the first thing I put on has like thin um, leaves and thin pieces. The wheat was a thin piece and the first orange flowers, well leaves were um the first item I put on there that had some more dimension to it. So now I have these leaves and I'm just adding them in in different places to get more of the entire reef filled in. So I'm going to keep adding these in um, different places. I want some top, I want some in the center circle, and I want some on the outer circle. And then I want it throughout each side. So I'm going to keep adding that in and I'll be right back. So now I'd like to add my brighter orange leaves and you see right there I was kind of sliding them along the stem because the stem is going to go into the the uh, reform and um, a lot I'm, I don't want my leaves to be hidden too much behind everything I want them to stand out too so if they're way down at the bottom they're going to really get hidden so remember to kind of push the leaves up a little bit make sure they're front and center so that they can be seen once you place them into your reef. So again, I'm gonna just sprinkle this throughout the reef 
on both sides. I'm trying to make sure I get a touch of it in almost, you know, in every location, not every location, but throughout the reef. I don't want them all clump clumped into one place. You kind of want them spread out. So I'm going to keep adding these in. And this is my, what I, what I consider my main uh, leaf or my main flower for this reef form. Um, that bright color is kind of what I want it to really stand out. But it's going to blend in nicely with everything else too. It won't be like a shocking standout front, front and center. But um, it'll brighten everything up just right, I believe. Okay, let me get these added in and I'll be right back. So after I think I have enough leaves added, I um, stop and look it over and try to see where I have some gaps and I've just pointed to two. So I'm going to work on those areas, adding in some more of these leaves, trying to make sure there are no like open gaps. I want everything to be nice and full. And I say fluffy, but <laughs> I just like everything to be nice and full, not having any um, big open spaces. So I'm going to add these few more in and then we'll be ready for the next step. So the next step is to make ourselves a bow and I'm going to start with this deep brown ribbon. Um, again, all of my ribbons are from Sam's Club, but what I'm going to do, because someone uh, mentioned in the comment, is that they don't have a Sam's Club near them or some people don't have a Sam's Club membership and they don't want to get a membership just to get ribbons. So, um, and to tell you the truth, that's my main reason for having a membership there um, in Costco. I want their ribbon. So, um... What I'm going to do is start um, making this ribbon available to you all on my in my Etsy shop. And my Etsy shop is Case Creative Home. So um, I'll start adding links into the description uh, that go directly to the shop. Well, I have a link in the description that goes directly to the shop. But I can also add links that go directly to the ribbon area. So I'll have them available. Um, probably 10 yard spools. I'll see about maybe five yard spools also because if you're making a bow you don't need a whole lot okay so the next ribbon I'm using is this tan and again as I'm coming forward I'm going to brighten it up a little bit um, I, I'm going to have another dark color but I didn't want two dark colors right together I want a little bit of break in it and when you have the bow you won't see so much as a break but you will see um, dimension again um, it won't be a dark brown against a dark green which is what I'll be using next so next I have my green ribbon and for these three colors I did a um, six inch tail kind of toward the top and an eight inch tail toward the bottom I thought I would have it hanging down really you know a lot longer than normal but I think in the end I still ended up trimming it off for the wreath but um, yeah, starting with a six inch, six to eight inch tail, and then each of my loops are six inches. And if you don't know how to make a bow, I have an entire series um, on how to make a bow, and that link is in my description box again. So um, the next one I want to do is um, this stripe ribbon. It kind of starts to bring in a lot of the colors that are in the um, reef itself. It's going to tie them all together. Now for this one, I'm doing the six inch, six to eight inch um, tails, but I'm also doing four loops and they are at five inches this time. Um, so again, the first one, first three colors, the brown, the green, the beige, six inch loops and six to eight inch tails. And I only did two um, loops for each of those. But these top ones, because I wanted to brighten the bow up, I'm doing the um, uh, four of each loop. So you got your six inch 
tails for these definitely I wanted the tails to get a little shorter except at the bottom that's probably an eight inch tail and then I did four loops that are five inches each and we're gonna get this in here we're gonna um, add a zip tie and get it tightened up So my next, next step was to grab a zip tie and I'm just wrapping it around the reform to make sure I have one that's long enough. Um, so I'm going to slide it up underneath of all of this ribbon till I get to the center section here on my bow maker. And I'm going to start to um, fasten the zip tie. I'm going to keep it loose while I pull my ribbons off of the bow maker. And then you see me sliding the back of the zip tie toward the back of the bow and this is where I slide in my next zip tie that I'm going to use to actually attach it to the reform and once I got that in there and my loops are already pretty much in place for where I want them so I can go ahead and um, tighten this bow uh, I am moving a few things around before I do that final tightening just to make sure it's kind of where I want it trying to get the colors in place make sure they don't have two colors directly uh, touching each other and so I'm going to use this little uh, tool um, that I use to pull on it because my hands don't work so well <laughs> especially with um, gripping boy and so then I um, use my zip tie gun to get it really tight so now that I've got all that done I can add my bow on here So before I cut the tails on my um, bow, I decided I wanted to add a few decorative items. So I had po just pointed out um, pumpkins and a gourd that I added, and you'll see where they are right now. So I'm just going to add some glue to them, and it's going to be a nice little abundance of glue so that it can really get a hold on to the wreath. Um, most, for the most part, it's attached to just some of the uh, leaves and things. So I'm going to add a good amount of glue. Um, I only added three. That orange gourd you saw, or orange pumpkin. And then this um, white pumpkin, a cream color, that I'm putting out toward the edge so it can be seen. And then on the other side, in a minute, I'm going to attach the, um, another pumpkin right there. It's, I want them kind of hidden, but I want them seen at the same time so that they're... Um, nice and you know cozy within the reef okay let me get this last one added on and then we'll be ready for one of the final steps So after I got everything together to this point, I decided I needed a little more filler coming out the side behind the bow. Um, so I'm adding some leaves and I'm adding a few of the um, orange leaves um, to that side just to kind of round out the shape of the wreath. So let's get that done. I'll be right back. So while adding those last leaves, I um, mashed the bow a little bit, of course, trying to work around it. So I just got to fluff it out again a little bit, make sure my loops are nice and round. And then I'm going to um, kind of fluff out those tails too a little bit. And now I'm going to start cutting the tails. Now I have everything in. I have the pumpkins in and now I can kind of see better where I want each of those tails to stop. So like that brown one I just did works with the edge of the reform on that side. Same thing with that one. I want it to blend in 
with the reef and not hang too far over. And then the colorful one is the stripes and the polka dot one. I'm going to trim that enough that it creates layering, layering, um, so that it's not as long as the solid colors on the bottom. And again, that just helps to add dimension, adds that adds height, um, gives it some flow, gives you something for your eye to keep looking at as it goes over the reform. So I'm gonna get those trim and. I haven't said it already, if you're not a family member and you like to be, to be please don't forget to hit that uh, subscribe button and ring the bell so you can be notified when videos are released. And if you haven't done so already and you know someone who would like to see this video, don't forget to share it. Um, that really helps our channels to grow. Um, here I'm trying to twist this ribbon a little bit. In the end, I didn't like it. I just straightened it back out. I'm like, nah, that's not working. I just need to make it shorter. I was trying to curl it to make it shorter, but I didn't like the look. So um, I'm going to finish trimming this up. I um, Again, let me mention that this ribbon will be available in the Etsy shop. I'm getting that set up on Etsy right now. So I just want to take the time to thank you for spending this time with me. And I'll be talking with you again real soon. Now stay tuned for a few pictures.